Rebels have called in a Y-Wing attack. We must deactivate that uplink station to stop their bombers. Hello everybody and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront Hero Showcase. In this video we're taking a look at the Galactic Emperor himself, Emperor Palpatine. Emperor Palpatine has been in the game since launch, so he is a vanilla hero. But with, before we go on, let's take a look at his emotes. I am quite safe from your pitiful little band. Everything is proceeding as I had foreseen. I wonder if your feelings on this matter are clear. Like all the heroes and villains in Star Wars Battlefront, Emperor Palpatine comes with three abilities. Before we start with those, let's take a look at his first ability. Because Palpatine is not armed with a lightsaber or a blaster in this game, he uses his Force Lightning from Episode 6 and 3. Well, I was just thinking about it, he only uses it in two movies. That's actually surprising, but it's the thing he's known for. It stuns the enemy and it is a short range attack, so you must be closer to the enemy to use it. And I didn't know it stunned the enemy until a couple months ago when I was playing against him. Like, if you're getting shot, shot, shocked by Palpatine, you'll freeze and your character will be stunned and you can't shoot back, which is pretty powerful. So Palpatine is a good powerhouse character. Palpatine's first ability is his Force Dash, and using this ability, Palpatine quickly dashes in one direction, and this is the same ability as seen in Revenge of the Sith, when Palpatine flies across the office and attacks Mace Windu and kills all the other Jedi. Uh, this ability is very startling when used on other players, because they might be aiming at you and all of a sudden you're right in their face, and is useful for getting in and out of combat, so getting the jump on enemies, killing them all, and then using it again to fly away and super fast. Palpatine's second ability is his Chain Lightning, and like the Force Lightning, it's basically like the Force Lightning except it chains, so if you hit one person with it and more people are around them, it'll bounce off that person, bounce off that person, and hit multiple people, pretty much always killing them, so it's good to hop in somewhere and wipe out a whole area instead of just doing damage to one person like normal lightning does. Uh, this one is longer range, so it has a longer range than the regular force lightning, so if someone is jump packing above you or away from you, I like to use the chain lightning, zap them out of the sky and they go flying off and explode, and it's very satisfying just to watch them explode as they tried to kill you and then you just zapped them back. Palpatine's third ability, and in my opinion, my favorite ability to use in the hero game modes is his Imperial Resources. With this ability, Palpatine can either spawn health for himself in Hero Hunt and Heroes vs. Villains, so he spawns a health pickup for him to use or for other villains. But in bigger game modes like Walker Assault, Supremacy, and other modes you can use him in, he just spawns a pickup for the other players. So one of those blue pickups you see around the battlefield with smart rockets and proximity bombs he drops one of those so he's a very supportive character he's the Leia equivalent for the Empire the supportive character that heals or gives pickups so you want to play him that way you don't want to rush into the battle with him you want to stay back heal your teammates help your teammates and then zap people to get too close to you as I mentioned in my Han Solo video all the abilities that a hero or villain has are meant to work well with one another so one of my ways and using Palpatine's three abilities together is to force dash up into the air over a group of enemies and as you're falling back down use the chain lightning on the ground it'll lock onto someone in that group kill the whole group out and as you land and take out the rest of them with his regular force lightning when they're all gone you can seal yourself and do it all again so you just hop in you fly up zap the people below you kill yourself and repeat which is a good way to stay alive and do a lot of damage and kill a Palpatine along with all the other heroes and villains from the vanilla game were given or was given a trait in the Rogue One Scarif DLC. Palpatine's trait is called the Master and with this uh, trait his lightning regenerates at a faster rate after killing people so force lightning will regenerate faster with a higher trait level 
and this makes Palpatine strong in the Force. He seems strong in the Force, and uses his unlimited power. Cue the meme. The trait can be seen with all the heroes and villains above the health bar, and as they get more kills, the trait bar will rise with different titles, telling you how much the trait is increasing Palpatine's lightning regeneration by. This is a very useful one if you're taking on a group, and as you kill them more, and they keep rushing in, your lightning will just keep regenerating, and it can get to a point where I think if you kill enough, your lightning will almost never go down. I think I've got it do that a couple of times where it'll just keep boosting it back itself back up before it can run out so you can just use lightning almost forever like it's a really long time it'll go down eventually but it takes a while which is overpowered but I like it that way because Palpatine is one of my favorite Star Wars characters of all time something special to Palpatine well, it's not really special to Palpatine because Leia can do it and Krennic can do it but they can spawn royal guards so when someone is playing as Palpatine and another player dies they can they're given the option to spawn in as a royal guard, which is the red guard you see in uh, Return of the Jedi, except they don't have staffs. They have a T-21 blaster, a smart rocket, and a homing launcher, and two of these bodyguards can be on the battlefield at one time. They're very powerful, and if they stick near Palpatine, their um, abilities will get a cooldown increase, so they will take less time to cool down so you can use a smart rocket and homing launcher more often which encourages player to stick players to stick near Palpatine and protect him which is what they're supposed to do. Mobility wise uh, Palpatine is an old man so he can't duck or roll but he can walk and sprint and I, th I don't know if he's slower he's not slower I think he might be just the same speed or a little bit faster than normal infantry er around the same speed as Darth Vader and instead of jumping like normal, he jumps like Darth Vader, he uses the force to push himself off the ground. And if you combine this with your force dash, you can push yourself off the ground and force dash way up high. You can reach places that even a jump pack person might not be able to reach, which can give you a good advantage when using your chain lightning, which might be able to reach people on the ground because of its longer range. So you see Palpatine's abilities all work together, gives him a good advantage on the battlefield. So let's round the video off with a good strategy for Palpatine. Palpatine is, of course, the Emperor of the Galaxy, so you wouldn't want him to just hop into battle and die, because, well, good job, you just killed the Emperor. So, a good strategy for Palpatine is, of course, a hit-and-run tactic. You jump in an area, use your Force Lightning, and you dash out. So you hop in, Chain Lightning, Force Lightning, finish anyone off, dash out, and heal yourself. So you don't want to stay in one place for too long. You want to get into a group, wipe everyone out, leave that area, kill yourself and just stay like a cockroach in the woods. I don't know if, if that was a good analogy or not. You just want to sneak around, zap people you see, keep sneaking around. You don't want to stay in one place for too long or Palpatine will die because he doesn't have that much health because he can heal himself so kind of balances him out there. So you want to be very careful when playing as Palpatine. Don't, st don't stay in one place for too long, excuse me, and just run around and kill people. and. Listen to that beautiful laugh of his. That beautiful, beautiful laugh. <laughs> That's about it for this video. If this video helped you at all, please leave a like and comment, and also consider subscribing. I will be covering, of course, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I've covered a lot of things on that. I'll be doing videos like these for every other hero and villain in Star Wars Battlefront. And I am working on a Star Wars Battlefront campaign because this one didn't come with a campaign. I found a mock campaign online and I'm working on that right now. So if you enjoyed the video, again, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, may the force be with you.